So the doctor has been exposed. So a YouTuber by the name of Truth Teller Danny, and I'm sure a lot of other people were looking to try to find this doctor. I know I was, and one of the reasons why, because some of the things that the journalist Perado had put out there has been a little bit questionable. If you've seen my other videos, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. So personally, I feel that some of the stuff he does say and bring is factual and is truthful, while some things is, I feel, are his assumptions and opinions on situations. Is he potentially lying? We will look more into that in another video. So make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications so you don't miss out on that. But if you keep watching, I'm going to give you one example of, I believe, to be a mistake in his reporting. But... It turned out that the doctor that was on his report is a real person. I actually rung the hospital and to find out the doctor is still working there. Carolina, Dr. Carolina Gateres. Uh, let me check if the doctor is stable because you're uh, talking to the hospital and the doctors usually have uh, different skills so uh, maybe she's not in the hospital maybe she is in in a hotel or in another office and later on when i try to get a hold of her again it turned out that she's actually under investigation she cannot talk to anyone the doctors cannot talk to anyone nothing so that confirmed to me dr carolina is actually real so truth actually found her on linkedin and she's on linkedin as carolina Onelles works for the AMC Center and she's from Los Cabos. Her picture is not actually there and I believe that's because people started to find out who she was so she took it down. But on other people's end, the picture was still there. Now obviously a lot of people want to know how can a doctor not see if Shanquella passed away in the morning or around uh, three, etc. Why is the police report contradicting the autopsy? And does that mean, like, who is this doctor? Like, what type of skills does this doctor have? Why wasn't the cut lip, the, the bust on the eye, the welt on the head mentioned to the first responders? You will see that she actually studied in the University of Guadalajara. Now, I probably pronounced that very wrong. All my Mexican friends laugh at me when I try to pronounce that city. I've been to that city. It's very beautiful. But yeah, she studied there and this doctor has a lot of experience. So it's like, damn, how can a doctor just let this happen? It's like, wow, is this pure competence or was she paid off? Like, what happened? Now, she says that the friends told her to treat her there, but as a doctor, it is her obligation to take her out there and get her help, which the doctor never did. So he's saying right here, you know, there was an error on behalf of the doctor, Carolina. He was, she was obligated to take her out of there and get her medical treatment, right? In, or get her a diagnosis, but she failed in this area. She, Dr. Carolina, by medical duty, should have made the call to have Shanquella transported to a medical facility. Take that <clears throat> responsibility and that ownership because you don't need their permission to give her medical help or even transport. This is what would be <clears throat> malpractice. You are obligated to act in basically in good faith, regardless of what the friends wanted or not, or what they permitted. She did not need their consent. If it was apparent, it would have been a different story, but this is just friends. Basically, everyone failed Shaquille here. He says that it, it was a failure. They didn't do things the way that they needed to do. In a process, they would have been detained. They would have been questioned. This falls in the country as a whole, in Mexico, as far as their processes and how things are done. They should have been detained. They should have done more due diligence to this, but they didn't. And so then I asked him again, I said, well, why do you think it happened that way? And he said, well, there was a failure within that system, within the process that they had there. And they basically allowed things to happen the way that they did. He says, you know, they are secondary accomplices, all of them. He says, it doesn't have to do so much with money. He says, it's the fact that they failed to do a job. They, between the first respondents to the police, the medical, all those that were involved. Okay, so I've actually went into her Twitter and we're going to look at some of the tweets that she tweeted near the date before Shaquilla actually arrived in Mexico and after she got... Now, before the date, she posted, the thirst of greatness is quenched with work and dedication. Okay, so on the 28th, the 10th of October, if it hurts, 
It's that you're growing and that even if you don't believe it, it's good. Then, on the 31st of October, she says, she posts, As we gain some experience, it's common to want to go back in time and advise the me of the past. But there are other less recognized times when the self seems to once again give us the necessary lesson. It reminds me a lot of Harry. Sometimes you are the one who saved yourself. She also posts around November, Losing hope in people is losing hope in yourself. Another post on the 16th, she goes, Covered with stars and immersed in the sea, that's how I want to stay. So six days ago now, she says, Prayer heals. Another tweet that she retweeted, which I found very interesting, was the first step to healing is to recognize that you are hurt, that you are vulnerable. It's okay. It's brave to ask for help. It's so interesting that she has not said nothing about Shanquella, nothing about justice for Shanquella. She has been quiet. What's a little bit more worrisome is that she is still working at that hospital. And it's like, why would you let a doctor like that continue to work like I would be scared to have someone like that treat me now guys she has actually blocked me now two of my accounts actually and I never said anything to her after truth's video got out I believe people started um, pinning her in posts justice for Shaquilla etc people asking her questions so she decided to put her whole Twitter on private so you cannot even see her tweets and that's why I followed her beforehand because I was hoping I could get in before she did that. So I guess she figured that all these new accounts was from that situation and she just blocked me and blocked probably whoever else uh, joined her. Now about to show you the mistake that Harado did, okay? So he was on the attorney's live stream and this was what was said. He's saying, so like guys, listen, he's saying this is why the, the case is so complex. He says that when the case first occurred, the friends, they lied to the government officials. Right. And so the government officials noticed this immediately. He says so that when the government officials looked at the case, they noticed the, the fraud, the lies. Um, first, they the friends, the friends lied. See, when the autopsy came back, the officials went to look for the friends. Guess what? The friends changed hotels. <laughs> They changed hotels. They fled from one hotel to another hotel in the same area. But switched, not, they didn't just switch rooms, they switched whole hotels to evade the officials. So he's implying that when the autopsy came back, they would have saw the injuries being hurt cause of death, which obviously wasn't alcohol. But the thing is, no one got the autopsy until the 8th of November. It's actually dated on the autopsy. It says right there the 8th of November, which means by that time they were already in America. Now they did leave that hotel and they went to a airport a hotel according to Shinquella's father. For what our statement says, one of y'all called a taxi cab and went to an airport hotel. Maybe they got an early morning flight and bolted out of there real quick. But no one knew because even after that, this happened. Queen City News has spoken with officials at the U.S. State Department in Mexico who refute the claim that Robinson was murdered, saying the police's initial indication is that there was no clear evidence of foul play. An official with the State Department told us they're helping the family obtain reports from authorities and recommend the family hires a private investigator and an attorney if they question the circumstances surrounding Shanquilla's death. So basically, the family had no answers and they were told to hire investigators to look into this. For real. Mexico wasn't going to do nothing. They wasn't going to do anything. They really think there was no foul play. So the police didn't know. They failed. Their system failed them. Because of that video, because of YouTubers, because of the news, because of TikTokers, because of this thing going so viral, that's when everything stepped in place. Now there's an investigation. Now there's an arrest. Prosecutor in Mexico speaking to local news. Responsable de estos hechos a una amiga de ella, que es la agresora en este caso de la agresión directa. Porque realmente no fue riña, es una agresión directa que realizó. But officials aren't releasing any names and no known arrests have been made. 
Investigators now seeking to extradite the person of interest to face charges in Mexico. The FBI, the federal authorities here in the States, must now decide whether or not to extradite those folks. And that's pretty much where the process will go now. Hey guys, I will definitely keep you updated on this situation.